G'day beautiful people. I want to talk about disconnection and isolation. Not because it's a happy topic, but because it might be massively important to you and it might actually change your life for the better today. I don't think one more cat video is what you really need. <laughs> Maybe you want to talk about disconnection and isolation today because it's absolutely endemic for many factors and it's even worse for us gays. And here is my personal story as testimony as to why to help you explore something that might actually help you have a realization that dramatically benefits you. Here we go. My script's up here, so forgive me if I do a bit of reading. I've experienced disconnection and isolation many times, in part because I am a gay man and because I was a gay boy. I felt rejected or isolated within sports teams, school and community groups, and I wouldn't have been able to tell you why, because my secret I knew inside was dangerous. It could lead to more disconnection or worse isolation. My problem had become something worse than merely not fitting in. It was deeper and more lingering. Quite deep down, even subconsciously, at some point, I developed a strong awareness that I was different and that my sexuality was both a cause of it and related to it and an ongoing problem for me. I felt scared and unsure and people could smell it and it frightened them because they didn't know what to do with that or they didn't like that and they didn't want it. So we all just ignored it and pretended nothing was wrong. There's a strong parallel here between me as like an awkward teenager and a lot of people at gay bars or on Grindr today, adults. To heal myself from this injustice, the deeply held notion that I'm somehow wrong or do not belong or I'm not enough and need to compensate because of all the factors that go along with I like men and feel attraction and love towards men was to come home to simply who I actually am and stop playing any other silly games. It was about me now and not so much about them. This had become a me problem even though I got it from the outside and now it's affecting my whole life. So we, gay people, queer people, must come home to ourselves if we are going to thrive. We, I, want desperately to belong, to be safe, to feel loved and connected. We, I, learnt how to disconnect and reject myself before anybody else could, with judgment that I learned from outside of me and it left me with a person full of, uh, as a person, full of, not completely full, but with a lot of fear and uncertainty that didn't belong. It's a lie that there is something wrong with us, but we've swallowed it and we need to undo that injustice. Why do you think so many gays on Grindr or at the gay bar or generally are quite prickly, insecure, clicky or bitchy? I would argue we, for the most part, lack a deep feeling of safety and security in ourselves. We are scared and we don't like it. So we turn away from it and we can barely admit that it's even true for us or that it's even going on. No, I'm better than that. I'm over that. I came out years ago. This isn't a problem for me. I, everybody loves me. I love everybody. Well, maybe that's true for you, but maybe it's not. For most of us, I would argue, it's not. We don't feel comfortable or that we belong, especially at work and especially around our difficult family members. And we're compensating, playing a game and fronting up as somebody that we are not in order to compensate or deal with it. We were or are hurt and we can do something about it and come home to us, to ourselves first and then to others. We have so much to offer. Our journeys of isolation and difference can easily become our superpowers. The insight and strength of understanding difference, and we gain that in our personal journeys, it's priceless. Do you think I could share deeply vulnerable personal stories with the public before I achieve these things for myself? No. Could I have run a business that works to help men and others achieve the same thing? No, absolutely not. I want you to know more about how to come home to yourself because I want this for everybody. And I suggest you start by getting to know yourself. 
This sounds cliche, or maybe it's confusing. Bear with me. It's very real and very practical. I can show you how to do this far better than I could ever tell you. My ex-clients, who might be watching, know exactly what I mean. So this is why I'm inviting you to come to a one-to-one -one free consult in coaching. Go back through my videos, explore all my stuff, look at all my posts, get a good smell for it, read my Google reviews and ex-client stories, get a really good smell for everything. But then the best thing that I can possibly do for you is to show you in a free consult over 60 minutes whether or not this may be going on for you and you will know the truth of that and be able to share it with me. And then I can show you how to come home to yourself or what the steps look like and how that journey begins. I've said it all in videos before, but this is just my appeal to really help you know if you are the person that I'm talking to, if you are going through the things that I've learned and done the things that can help with this and I help other people to do it, if you want it, come to a free consult just to begin to explore. You don't have to work with me, it's free for a reason. Brownbearcoaching.com can tell you more about it and how it will work, 60 minutes, you don't really need to prepare anything, but you can go to there or bookbrownbear.as.me to book yourself in today. It will sort out the timelines. It's all online. It's very convenient. I cannot wait to hang out with more self-loving, self-accepting queers who are full of a sense of loving, belonging, caring, connectedness, and pride. We belong. We never did anything that wasn't simply human. We can't do anything that isn't simply human. If you want my help to transform your life experience, I'd love to see you soon. Have a great day. Take care of yourself.